You might have a problem that your PC is running and everything is working like this but there is nothing showing on the screen whatever you do and you restart your computer and the case is running but nothing is showing on the monitor so how to fix this issue first you need to make sure that your monitor is connected to your PC correctly maybe the cable has moved or something so make sure that your monitor is connected to your graphics card and also the second thing after you make sure that your monitor is connected correctly we need to turn off the computer and unplug it so we don't want any electricity connecting to our PC so right now after you make sure that your PC is disconnected it might be a RAM issue we have for example here two RAMs you need to take one of these RAMs take it off and, and try running the PC see if it works or not if it didn't work put it again and try the other one if still didn't work just try with one of them and put it on the other slot keep trying and switching between them until you see if it works or not if still didn't work this is, might be because you have changed something in your motherboard settings like for example in this case here I've just enabled the XMB profile on my motherboard and it doesn't want to work with this processor I don't know why so how to fix this we want to reset the motherboard settings so how to do that you can do it two ways from here you see here on the motherboard you see under this cable here there is clear CMOS you see these letters clear CLR CMOS you want to connect these two metal parts with anything that you have any metal thing like a screwdriver or a coin or anything you want to connect them for like 10 seconds and that will make your motherboard reset you can also make it by removing this you see this battery you need to but for now I need to remove the graphics card first you need to remove this battery here 30 seconds or something and after that put it again and it will reset all the CMOS settings so for now let's start by this so in this case just start by this I'm going to connect it with a screwdriver like this if you don't find it on your motherboard like this just search online just search with your motherboard name online like for example B450 gigabyte how to clear CMOS and you'll find it here we just want to connect them like this like this for like five seconds one two three four five and just like this let's try again let's plug our computer just restart your PC again let's see it just took a little bit longer this time but as you can see the PC is going to work right now right now the PC is working no problems and if I restart the PC again let's go restart and I want to enter BIOS just keep hitting delete on your keyboard once it starts keep hitting delete you see right now BIOS has been reset please please reconfigure your BIOS items if needed okay so right now for example I'm going to enable my TMB2 again FTMB enable and what what is the problem for me is that I have enabled the XMB profile if I put it to profile one it doesn't work with me and this problem happens so I just enabled my FTMB and go back to save and exit save and exit setup yes and your PC will be working fine without any problems so everyone as you can see the PC is now running no issues it just takes some time because you have changed something in the bias so everyone that's it for today's video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time